Good morning, JTL. We have a great show for you today. So stick around for all your school news. Because school news is cool news right here on Good Morning, JTL. Stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, JTL. My name is Erin. Today is Tuesday, September 29th. For lunch today, the cafeteria will be serving Coke's Choice Pizza or a turkey and cheese or a ham and cheese sandwich peanut butter and jelly sandwich, yogurt with granola bar, fruit and vegetable, juice and milk. Here is Maddie Carcutt with today's weather forecast. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning, Erin. It is currently 66 degrees outside with cloudy sky. Our national map shows a low pressure system over the entire east coast with scattered showers in the northeast currently. A look at our local Doppler radar, it shows a band of heavy rain heading towards the Poconos currently. Skies will be cloudy most of the day. We're expecting rain to drop about 2 p.m. this afternoon. Thunderstorms are expected with the rain. Rain will continue with, until the early morning hours on Wednesday. The high temperature is expected to reach 75 degrees. And now back over to Aaron with the day's school news. Thank you, Maddie. Good Morning JTL will broadcast live on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday of each week. You should join us live each day at 8.15 a.m. if you are at home. Go to the JTL website and select Live Broadcast and Archive. Then click on the live link icon to see the show. You should watch it every day to get all of your school news. There are no afternoon announcements over the loudspeaker, so if you happen to miss a show at 8.15 a.m., you can see the recording of the show in our YouTube archive, which is located just below the live link. To all our viewers, if you want to send someone a shout-out, go to esasd.net slash dtl and click on the shout-out link. Shout-outs should be submitted no later than 7.30 a.m. on the day they are to be read. You can add names to our shout-out link now. We just hope we can send some great birthday shout-outs this school year, but you must fill out the form. Since you are currently unable to come to the library and look through the books, we, beginning next week, Mrs. Churchill will have a traveling library during morning yacht. Mrs. Churchill will be visiting each homeroom one day per week with the splattering of books on a cart. The books will be broken out by Jonna, and you will be able to check them out on the spot. Unfortunately, you will not be able to preview the books by picking them up. However, Mrs. Trojan will have some summaries of books posted. And remember, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. Students, are you having Chromebook issues? Not sure what to do about it? Here are the steps you can take to help get your Chromebook looked at. Go to esasd.net slash jtl. In the lower left corner of the purple section, click on Student Technology Work Request. Click on the Chromebook icon to get to the Google form. Answer the three pages of questions. Make sure your name, email, and DayZoo 10 JTL are accurate. Finally, select the Submit button. You'll be contacted about having your Chromebook fixed. Just be patient while our staff works to get your issues fixed. If you're having login issues because your password doesn't work, please let your classroom teacher know immediately. The classroom teacher should submit a 
work order the way they normally do, but at the same time call Gary McMahon at extension 17600 to take immediate care of, the, of having the student get logged in. To all students, on Wednesdays it is critically important for all students to log into Sapphire by 9 a.m. You must log into your student account on Wednesdays, not your parents' account. Also, you cannot just log in a few days before and keep the tab open. You must log out of Sapphire and then log back in every Wednesday. If you do not log into Sapphire, you will be marked absent for the day. This procedure is for all JTL students. If you do not have a user ID, password, or PIN to log into Sapphire, let your homeroom teacher know and the homeroom teachers will send a list to our building secretaries to get you the information. Also, on days you are not here at JTL, make sure you log into every period when the class starts to make sure you are not marked absent for the day. Thanks for your cooperation as we navigate new attendance requirements during COVID. There are some extra yearbooks available for purchase. We'll be selling them on a first come, first served basis. They are $35. We'll take cash only. If you're interested, please bring your money in and see Mrs. Varner in the office during either morning or afternoon EI. Believe it or not, picture days start this week. Information was sent out last Friday during homeroom. Parents are strongly encouraged to order their picture packages online. The online school code is on the picture form and the information is also available on our website at esisd.net slash jtl. Picture day is Friday, October 2nd for student groups B, C, and D. Picture day for groups A, G, F will be on Tuesday, October 6th. JTL Osaka students will have a picture day on Tuesday, October 6th from, si th from October 6th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. This next announcement is from our central administrator. Until further notice, all classroom birthday celebrations are on hold. Students are not to be bringing in any items, pre-packaged or otherwise, from home to share with others. The cafeteria is in the process of offering a birthday basket package that parents or guardians can purchase to celebrate their child's special day. More information will be coming soon from our Director of Food Services. In keeping with health and safety plan during coronavirus times, the ESASD birthday basket option will be the only type of birthday celebration permitted at this time. Attention any student interested in playing a winter sport. There will be free physicals at JTL on Saturday, October 31st. Please call 570-424-8500, then dial extension 10502 to make an appointment. You must have a completed physical to compete in a winter sport. And now we would like to present our bi-monthly Pride student recipients. Students will receive a special badge to place in their email's signature. A phone call from one of our administrators letting your parents know you are doing a great job and you'll have your name placed in a raffle for a mystery gift certificate. On 6 Oak, congratulations to Danae Harper. On 6 Birch, congratulations to Pablo Soto Moreno. On 7 Oak, congratulations to Gianna Sonera. On 7 Birch, congratulations to Gianna Ventre. On 8 Oak, congratulations to Madison Jimenez. And on 8 Birch, congratulations to Marta Suma. And for 6th grade, Isaka Sylvia Pauselius. And that's it for today's announcements. Don't forget to wear your mask, maintain 6 feet of dis distance between people, and sanitize or wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Have a great day, JTL, and we will see you back here on Thursday for all M, M through Z students.